I tell you what, the first thing when you walk into your shop this morning, you're not quite expecting this. Holy shit, that I've just scared the shit out of me. Oh, holy crap. Walked into the door and forgot it was arts and crafts last night. Yeah. So, my mom's got this little project that she's doing. We've had the Santa since, like, I don't know. They say they've had it since, like, the 70s or something like that, or the 80s, rather. And, uh, it's pretty much well faded. I guess they're painting it. My mom's painting it. My dad doesn't want her to paint it, but she's painting it. We'll just move him out of the way. He's uh usually goes up on our front deck there. And uh lately he's been pretty faded for the past three years. He looks like a blowing ball coming down the street, so she's finally painting it. And uh I don't know. I guess it's her little arts and crafts project for the weekend. We'll just leave that there. Whew. Anyway. So, I've uh, gone ahead and pulled some buckets off, as you can see. Done a little bit of work on here. Can't quite get the shaft off. I'm actually getting ready to go fire up the compressor and uh, try and, you know, impact and not impact it, but hammer, hammer gun it out. Um, hopefully that should work out pretty good. So, also notice we have a broken spring here. Uh, obviously, we're going to replace this guy. This is the brake. Lever goes on to the boat right here. This goes into there and, you know, just stops the auger from spinning when it's not supposed to spin. So, obviously, we're going to get that replaced. Next up, uh, yeah, so actually, hold on, we'll still stay on here. Beg my pardon. Uh, yeah. So, hopefully, we'll get this thing done today. That's my goal, is to swap the gearbox out, get everything done, but I don't really see that happening. <laughs> it looks pretty rough, to be honest with you. Uh, next up on the agenda for today... Uh, is we got this your battery box this is the breakaway box that goes in my trailer uh, I just decided pretty much to go ahead and replace the entire unit because well all I need is just this one little cable piece and this is $12 the battery that was in the breakaway box I looked at Walmart was like $47 so that's uh, let's say 47 uh, let's see we'll say We'll just say 60 bucks. Go with it. And uh, this whole unit and everything with the wiring and the little indicator light here and the new breakaway box controller piece with the thing, 34 bucks or 32 bucks shipped. Like, yeah, <laughs> you do the math. It's cheaper to go out and buy a whole new unit than it is to just try and replace the broken parts. So I'm going to wire up that today, hopefully. Uh, let's see. So get that going on. We got arts and crafts behind me going on. Uh, yeah, that's what we got going on today. So we got the fence man's blower. I uh, just, I don't know, just don't have any motivation to work on this today. <laughs> so I think tomorrow we'll get this guy hopefully finished slash done. Uh, so I got to do the car. We got to do the oil, and I got to replace that one little pin there that goes on the side of the wheel, and that's it. It's a done deal. Uh, this one here is just like a whole nother story, though. Yeah, what a mess. Yep. So hopefully we can get this piece off. If not, then uh, we'll either be cutting, cutting the uh, shaft right off and breaking out the old press and pressing it off. One or the other, it's going to happen. But anyway, oh yeah, we get packages. We get to ship out too. Craftsman tires. Uh, Aaron snowblower tires. Starter, and we get a bumper to ship out. That's it. So, oh yeah, remind me of that tip. Friggin' uh, yeah. Mr. Old Pug Life is back on the uh, YouTube TVs there. Friggin' uh, just got done watching, um, I don't know, I think it was just like a music video or something like that. Just listen to music, changing it up. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> pretty much, I, just click the home button and see next thing you know, I just click the subscription button because you have to press like 90 million buttons now to try and find a damn subscription. And uh, I said, One Pug Life uploaded a video 29 seconds ago. I was like, oh, look at that. And I was like, uh, do I poop first or do I watch the video? And well, I hauled her in and I watched the video first and then took a poop and then I commented that I took a poop. Oh, yeah. So he's pretty cool. He's back. That's hip. So, I uh, hear vehicle pulling in the driveway as we speak, because he might be, yeah, 
I hope you didn't come with that to pick up a friggin' lawn tractor. Yeah, I think that's him. Yeah, yeah. That's a guy buying a lawn tractor. Huh. What a goof. Son of a bitch. Anyway, let's get back to work. Alright. So, I guess I've uh, got sidetracked and worked on the fence man snowblower. I have a little problem with that auger bucket. Whoa. 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 Okay. So, I guess we'll start off with this one. Having the, just the hardest time getting this damn, um, I guess we'll call it a pulley, even though it's really not a pulley. Uh, I guess we'll call it, actually, we'll be technical, we'll call it a hub. Uh, yeah, can't get the hub off. It's pretty much frozen on there. I can, have it was up a little bit earlier, and then thought maybe I could bank down and bang it up, bang it up, bang it down, bang it, yeah, no, didn't work. Uh, so that's a complete fail. However, I did get that one bolt off off the side there. Grounded that off. Just can't get this one off. Um, kind of sort of waiting for more instructions from uh, Buddy there to figure out what we're doing with it. If we're just going to leave her be and just replace an auger bucket or what the deal is. I don't know. Not my problem. But, I got the fence man snowblower all fixed. I picked up a bunch of hardware yesterday. I got the clip on it. So now, no more chain problems. I greased up, you know, the shaft there, the shifter, slider gear, I guess we'll call it, and uh, a little bit of gear oil onto the chains. I like to use the gear oil better than chain lube. Gear oil is a little bit thicker. So, seems to be working pretty good now. All I gotta do is just pop the uh, skid plate back on. I can flip it back down, and then what I'll do is I'll just uh, pop this bolt off down here and uh, take a look at what we got going on in the car bowl. Adjust it, and then we'll throw some gas into her, fire up, drain the oil, and it's a done deal. So, friggin' right some woo. Oh yeah, and also boxed up this uh, bumper too. Handle with car. Or, handle with CA. <laughs> Canada. But anyway, so that guy that was pulling up there with that little Jeep, I guess he had a trailer on the back. Uh, and I get that Husqvarna. Wow. Damn! Who put that there? I got this Husqvarna sitting out here, the one that I built there. That one. Uh, I guess... Oop. I guess, uh, pretty much what's going on with the thing is I should have been smart and replaced the, uh, the crankshaft. I fucked up on that part. I probably should have replaced the crankshaft. So, uh, motor doesn't run all that great, I'll put it that way. Uh, I bet you if I replaced the crankshaft, it would have been mint hits. Uh, it's got a slight little knock to it. Like, you can't really even hear it. Uh, it sounds like a regular engine to anyone out in the world, but I know for a fact I can hear it. Um, actually, I can fire it up real quick for you. You guys can hear it. Choke. Throttle. Alright, so I don't know if you heard that little tick in the motor. It's, it's a very slight one. Uh, so anyway, guy came, looked at it, low balled me, I sent him on his way home. So, that was about like three hours ago since I made that video. I just actually just had a friend's house, trying to help him, trying to figure out where his damn cable lines are, just trying to trace them anyway. We finally figured out where they all went, but that was an episode and a half. But uh, since I was gone, uh, my mom's been working on Santa. Well, he doesn't look too, too bad in this lighting. But then, if you, uh, plug them in I show you and this looks like a bag of shit so yeah it doesn't look 
too too bad with the light on and then if you come over here and turn the light off you get a whole another freaking story going on here yeah guess what we're doing tonight we're gonna be fixing Santa yep she going down fucked up my dad's Santa and my dad is gonna be pissed when he sees us holy crap so I have a new approach of doing it we're gonna see how it works it just can't get any worse than what it already is I mean well she gave it her best she's not very artistic yeah we got a little bit of work to do we'll leave that be I have an idea of what I'm gonna do it's not going to be as bright as it is, but I'll do my best. It's better than what it is. Anyway, also, I'm going to show you guys the trailer. Let's take a look. Alright. So, we've gone and done wired up a new breakaway box here. That's the little piece there. This guy goes like that. Wires up, I'll get, I'll get some electrical tape, wrap that all up. Come in here, we heard a light. Let's uh, get some light in here. Hold on, gonna get my phone out. Friggin' uh, sprint screw me over big time on my phone. That's it. I'll tell you guys that about another day. Okay, let me hop up and in here. I gotta build a set of stairs for this, cause it's about three and a half feet off the damn ground. Alright, so, new breakaway box is in. It used to sit down there, the old one, which is down there now. Um, yeah, looks a little better. I moved it up because, well, these skis, my skis are must have been a little bit different than his. But when my skis come around this wall, it, it would have just knocked that unit right out. So, I ended up just uh, raising her up. Put a little bit of the nicey, uh tubing shit on there and it. it's good to go. So also I've been doing a little bit of work on here, got my new decal on. Didn't come out all that great down there. But I came out right up there and get the new stickers on, the new registration stickers. My dad's gonna be riding this sled this year. He's taking this one from me. So I've already got new spark plugs in it. Looks pretty decent. Got the saber cat open over here. My sled, I'm getting ready to actually just plug her on into the battery charger, charge the battery up. So I can get her going. Uh, whoa! Baby! Holy shit, where'd my light go? Okay, come on. Just tripped over that box. That was always good. Got my little storage trunk on there, looking pretty good. I'll show you guys this all tomorrow, probably. But, hey, it's going where it's going. Saber cat. Looks pretty good. So, anyway, we're going to talk to you guys all tomorrow. Until then, see ya.